There was a time when Gaza's gold business flourished, but with Israel banning equipment and raw materials from entering the enclave and its economy in decline, the trade has lost its shine. Only a handful of workshops are still operating, and the stream of customers at gold dealers and jewellery shops has lowed to a trickle. Nizar Sadawi reports. Gaza's gold industry dates back 500 years. Once a safe haven for merchants, the trade has lost its shine in recent years. Craftsman Majid Ferry uses traditional and primitive methods to make jewelry, melting down old or broken pieces. When we make a necklace or bracelet, it goes through many stages. We try to improve ourselves by copying Turkish or Singaporean jeweler designs within our limited capacities. We hope that the crossings will open to allow raw materials in. If that happens, we'll be able to work more easily. The Israeli blockade means the entry of equipment and raw materials is banned, so many of Gaza's factories lack basic machinery. This is a big problem, because the factories can't keep up with jewelry trends and they are unable to produce modern shapes or designs. It's a huge obstacle. We're unable to work, whether it's with imported jewelry or local gold. Industry bodies estimate more than 80% of the trade in Gaza depends on local traders, but many dealers don't have the financial resources to import. And Israel only allows a few traders to bring in gold from abroad, which increases prices and shocks the industry. Another challenge is the deteriorating economy. For so many years, a mainstay of the sales here was bridal gifts, the gold newlyweds would purchase with their dowry. But these days, it's a luxury couples can't afford. The Gaza Syndicate of Gold and Silver Workers estimates the enclave produces over 70 kilograms of gold a month, far less than in previous years. We have about 45 factories and workshops. Only 30 percent of them are still operating. The rest have closed because there are no spare parts for the machines that need repairing. We hope that the whole world will stand up and help us lift the blockade. Craftsmen and gold dealers hope that if the blockade is lifted, it will revive the industry. But it will take more than hope to resurrect their businesses in a shattered economy. Nizar Sadawi, TRT World, Gaza.